Christ that the fountain of God's blessing unending fountain of his grace the power of possibility shall be stretched towards you and everything about your life will revolve around testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I join my faith with yours tonight and we come against the powers that have bought testimonies. The power that say no to testimony. May they bow under the thunder of God in the name of Jesus. I've had experiences of deliverance where the devil confronts you and says no, this person cannot receive this blessing. Sweet destiny, glorious destiny, but I jacked. I pray for everyone, as many of those who are here with us on ground and those who are viewing online, I pray that my Father shall visit you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Your Excellencies, God bless you, church. Please do have your seat. We thank God for his unfailing grace in the house and the Lord that gives us testimony again and again and again. I'm starting tonight uh, picking the words of Pastor Abraham. He was speaking about the oracle of God. And the Spirit of God took me to the book of Numbers chapter 11. Hear what the Bible says there. Numbers chapter 11. The people of God were in the wilderness and they needed to eat. And so according to the story from Numbers chapter 11, they were tired and they just needed flesh. And they went to Moses and they were, you know, complaining and, you know, being sorrowful. Just the same uh, experience that every one of us do have, you, you know. Unfortunately, these people forgot the fact that the same God who opened up the Red Sea for them is still the same God that can give them manna or that can make provision for them. Meaning that the memory of people most times are short-lived. You see, when they come face to face with challenges of life, they, 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 they become overwhelmed under that uh, challenges and they fail to see what God has done in time past. And that is just enough for them to pick their testimonies. But you see, the wicked one will not allow them to have that, uh, you know, that appreciative spirit. So these people came to Moses and they were complaining and crying. And God said to Moses, of course, he said, I I'm going to do something that is very unprecedented. Brethren, I love this account in Numbers 11. Very, very powerful. Everyone seated here tonight, you may be passing through things that has to do with this same account. I will let you know shortly. Why am I saying that now? Just check it out in verse 1 of Numbers 11. It says, And when the people complained, and it displeased the Lord, and the Lord had it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burned among them. Why? They were complaining. And their complaint is very legitimate. These guys came out of Egypt. God opened up the recipe for them, and he was heading them to the land of Canaan. But because of the challenges they confronted on the way, there was no food. Do you understand? They, they, they already ran out of the food that they brought from uh, Egypt. And so the Bible says they became weary. How many weary people are here tonight? I'm speaking by the power of God. This is our business in church. To comfort as many who are weary hearted, broken hearted. Those whom the devil is sitting upon their life. We can harass the devil and say no, leave them alone. You had a testimony of that sister. And that is the business of the church. Maybe you don't know exactly that is the business of the church. But it's spiritual business. We do not see the way men see. We see from the eyes of God as men who are held in captivity. That is why the church exists. The church is not the same thing. Now, listen to this. 
if I am a motivational speaker, you will never see a motivational speaker jumping and preaching and, you know, they only talk. They deliver lecture. Isn't it? But a preacher of the gospel under the fire of the Holy Ghost, his bone cannot contain it. The other day the Lord gave me a revelation. I saw oil mixed with fire. Do you understand? Get that picture now. Can you see oil dripping? It's liquid form. It's like liquid fire indeed. Now, that oil cannot drop on you as a person and you remain normal. It's not possible. Just like someone cannot stay normal, he can't control himself when he comes under cocaine. Uh, because there is a spirit in that. That is why they call the gene, gene. You know, this, uh, uh, what they call it now? Kai Kai. Yes. What do they call it also? No, the polished one that you know very well. Maybe you've, you've taken it before, eh? Yeah, hot drink. What name? Brand. Just give me some brands. You know, I've you know, I know you have taken it before. Okay, whiskey. And what again? Uh, uh, yeah, Shinab. That one has taken it before. Shinab. <laughs> In my country, they say, when the elderly takes you up, without it, you will know. Because there's a way he's going to praise the Lord. Now, when that person takes that in, he can't control himself. The same thing. When the anointing comes upon you, initially, you may be gentle. You are speaking, you are gentle. But when the fire comes upon I mean, liquid fire, that the Holy Ghost himself, by his angels, is pouring upon you, you can't be abnormal. That is why when a preacher, a preacher under the unction of the Holy Spirit is ministering, they, and don't forget, uh, what, do, what do you call it? In the marketplace of life, the angel of God does not perform miracles there. That is the natural realm of people. But when you come to church, the house of Jesus, the ground and the pillar of truth, that is where the supernatural takes over the natural realm. That is why we call it super. Amen. It is above what you can explain. Because it has to do with your soul, your spirit. And when your flesh not connects with it, you can't do normal. You can't behave normal. Have you seen someone under the unction of the Holy Spirit, the person just begins to shed tears. But the person is not crying. He just begins to drip tears from his or her eyes. What it happened? Now, when that happened in the natural realm and you are seeing the tears... That is deliverance. Amen. Amen. I pray for you. The Lord will bring you to the arena where the supernatural becomes your natural habitat. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet. Let me share this with you. You can carry the anointing wherever you go. It is possible. So going back to what Pastor Abraham was saying as the oracle of God. So I went, you know, the Lord took me to that number chapter 11. And God said to Moses, he said, call 70 elders. I'm going to take from you the spirit that is on you. I will rest those spirits upon these people, 70 of them. And when that happened, they started prophesying. But two were not there at that, at that time. Two were in the camp. Do you know what? That same spirit fell upon them. And they became oracles. So you being an oracle of God, it is not only the pastors that is the oracle. The choirs, they are the oracle of God. The, 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 the ushers are the oracle of God. Sons and daughters of God, they are all the oracle. They are the mouthpiece of God. The world is in confusion. The world is under tension. But when they see you, they should be excited. Somebody shout amen. amen. How many oracles are in the house tonight? Lift up your right hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Introduce yourself to that brother. Tell him I'm an oracle of God. I am a living oracle of God. Wherever I go, I carry God with me. I am his mouthpiece. Somebody shout amen. amen. It is not about what you have in your bank account. Jesus Christ created everything. 
Yeah, the Bible says the birds of the air, they have no, they have nest. The foxes, they have no hole. They have holes, right? The birds have nest. The foxes have hole. But the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. How do you explain that? Meaning that the spiritual, you don't measure the spiritual with what the natural offers. Can you quantify the anointing of God in the life of a man? I say to myself, and I'm saying before you, I am the richest man in all the universe. I don't care. You can call yourself the poorest person. I am the most blessed. I'm the richest. I'm endowed. The hand of God is upon me. I carry treasure on my inside. I carry solution. Humanity needs solution. I carry it. Wherever I go, I show the love of God. Wherever I find myself, I demonstrate the power of God. Somebody shout amen. amen. We are not understand this, brother. We are not in the dispensation where uh, somebody is taking himself as the superstar. All sons and daughters of God. Bible says in that book of Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. He has made you kings and priests. You have two very anointed position in life. Kings reign with authority. But priests represent Jehovah. These are your two sides. Praise God. The man of God also made mention of Ukraine and Russia. And what came to mind? The Bible says, the thief comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Who is behind war? The devil. He is a warmonger. He has already marked some people to go down. Blood must play. But we stand on this altar. We are representing Jesus, the Son of God. And we speak. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Listen, when I talk of peace, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Do you understand? And Jesus says, my peace I give unto you, not as the word give, give I unto you. When we are speaking peace, we are talking of not the same peace in the kingdom of God. Because the Bible says, there is no peace to the wicked. But we can minister calmness. We can minister calmness. No death. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bring this situation under control. By the supernatural power of God, in the name of Jesus. You blood-sucking demon will come against you. Open your mouth, brethren, and begin to chase the blood-sucking demons out of Russia and Ukraine. In the name, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, let there be calmness. Let there be calmness, Lord. Let there be calmness. Are you sure you are praying? The soul of man is so precious to God. The soul of man is precious to God. How many people have died within 24 hours? Within 48 hours. How many people have died? Father, we stand as your church, as the representative of Jehovah. And we are speaking calmness. We speak calmness in the name of Jesus Christ. King Jesus, take charge by your spirit, by your power in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We as children of God, we don't carry ammunition physically. But we are actually time bomb. That is what makes the spiritual very, very interesting. You see a man in the natural realm, he's so gentle, he's so this, but in the spirit realm, he's a giant. You understand? People may not know him in his country. He may not be among the celebrities, as the people of the world call it. But in the kingdom of God, he's what? He's, 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 he's a prince. That is who you are. That is my assignment. To let you know that you are more than who you think you are. Amen. Because of the certain working of God's power on the inside of you. Somebody say amen. amen. Sister Francisca, how is your daughter? The 
Hallelujah. If the lung, hallelujah, the lungs disappear, what about the leg? What about the liver? I'm sure she's walking now. She has started going to school. Somebody shout hallelujah. For how many months has she not gone to school? Almost one year. But we didn't go to Ghana. But from here, UAE, we issue a decree. Can you see the supernatural? Somebody shout supernatural. That is what the oracle of God does. Hallelujah. That is what the oracle of God does. The oracle of God, they speak and impose the peace of God over situation. I pray for you. Every stubborn situation harassing you, harassing your family, harassing your destiny, every stubborn powers, the power of cancer, the power of uh, blindness, madness, insanity, may they succumb under the power of God. The girl has not gone to school in one year. The power of God taught her right in, K in Ghana. And Jesus healed her. That is a two, another case of cancer healed. Now, but you know what the Bible says in that account? I'm so excited because those guys were not in the camp. They, no, sorry, they were not in the congregation. They were in their own tent. Yet they started prophesying. Let me show you. Numbers chapter 11. I, I love you guys standing up. You missed me, right? <laughs> Let's preach together because we are all oracles. Oracles don't sit down. <laughs> are you excited about what I'm telling you? If you understand this, your life will be settled, your family will be at peace. Your business will be at peace. Amen. I read an account in the book of First Samuel chapter 17. Well, I'm coming back to this. When David went to the battlefield and he saw Goliath and uh, Saul was spitting David, he said, ah, whose son are you? He said, your, son, your servant is the son of uh, Jesse. Ah, you want to go against this guy? Don't you know he's a, he's a man of war from his youth? Come, let me help you. Take my armor. Use it. Take, see, this is my javelin. Use it. And David wore it. He took the first step. Then he said, sir, he said, please, with due respect, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to fake life. L let me go the way God created me. I just need five smooth stones. I'm going to bring down this Goliath. I pray for you. Goliath to Shatala Every stubborn Goliath in your life must bow down. Every power challenging you for 40 days. Goliath was challenging the people. He was harassing them. He was boasting. He said, Israel, bring out a man. Let us fight. If I'm able to overcome, you are going to be my slave. But if we overcome you, you will be our slaves. David was not there. The oracle of God, he was not there. He didn't look like it, but he is true an oracle. He is a true oracle. Everybody didn't respect him as an oracle, but he's a carrier of Jehovah. The carrier of divinity, the anointing of God upon him, running. Go and read his profile in 1 Samuel chapter 16. The guy was a very gentle guy. The Bible says he was, he, was, he was a very innocent, very handsome guy. But when he came against Goliath, the lion in him came out. He was looking at Goliath and said, Goliath... I will kill you. And I'm going to cut off your head. But there was no sword in his hand. That is how Oracle speaks. Oracles are not intimidated. Yes. Amen. Yes. I traveled out of the country and uh, I got to the immigration. Uh, you know, uh, passport control. So uh, the, the person who was attending to me. I didn't go with first class, a uh, business class. I just went because I had I saw a, a, a long queue. I just went straight to business class. I dropped my passport there. 
And the lady looked at me and said, but your passport is not, uh, your ticket is not business card. I said, yeah, I know, but just check me in. She looked, she couldn't resist it. She said, okay, sir. She checked me. She obliged me the favor. Is somebody listen to me? No man will be able to resist you. The goodness of God that I'm talking about, it's not about a particular location. Kalatu Shatilia Darahaba is far away, far out of UAE, but we still carry the glory of God wherever we go. As this living oracle, I say over your life today, may the hand of God rest upon you mightily. May the power of God rest upon you mightily. May the favor of God rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you find yourself. Oh, help me shake that person beside you. Say, we are cool oracle. Congratulations. <laughs> Fellow oracle. Kala <laughs> Tasadiada. I see some people bragging about the fact they say they are oracle and everybody is bragging about it. You are an oracle. It's because you don't know it. And my duty is to let you know because Jesus, the son of God, is in the, on the inside of you. The voice, your voice, they are no longer ordinary. That is why oracles, they caution themselves before they speak. I was in the church office just counseling with a young man. Now be seated, you guys. Uh, just allow me alone just to speak, to preach to you. I was in the office. I was just dialoguing with this guy. Oh, how, so how are you? He said, fine. Uh, but uh, there are some challenges in the family. And uh, I just came for you to just pray for me concerning this issue. And I said, kneel down, let's pray. But the Lord said to me, don't close your eyes. <laughs> because at times you want to pray, especially you are in the deliverance circle, please don't close your eyes. From the day the Lord said to me, don't go on deliverance with your tie. Well, last have you seen me conducting deliverance with time? <laughs> so that the one that is delivering people will not be the one that people are. <laughs> so, I said, let's pray. I was right in my chair. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus. And the young man, very handsome, draw to his clothes. When you come face to face to a living oracle, something must enter you. Toys got Lion in him came out because he saw something that is more than him. Wherever you go, may you carry God. Amen. That is why we encourage you in this church live a holy life, live for God. Do you understand? Because that is what contaminates. That is what defiles. It will not give you the audacity to confront them. Otherwise, they will say to you, ah, we know Paul. We know Jesus. Ah, but who are you? Ah, sorry, who are you? Because, you know, demons, they speak. They can embarrass somebody. He wants to cast out demon. He has just committed fornication. And he said, out, out. He said, keep quiet. The demon will tell, keep quiet. Which out, 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 out. Everybody, is, uh, if you are here, you, I'm telling you, a demon can do that. Please help me speak to somebody beside you. Live right. Live, right. Live, for, God. Live for God. Live a holy life. Live a holy life. Not an hypocritical life. Don't be a saint in church. And you're a Jezebel at, uh, you know, outside. Don't be holy, holy in the church. 
and be a white lady in the, in the street. No, 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 no. Your right picture in the church, let it carry, let, go, go out with it. And that is a true representative of Jesus Christ. As I was, oh, oh, it was myself and my wife in the office. And the whole place almost upside down. Now, the can the, the, the just walked in. Young man, he, he was well dressed from his house. He, I had to send to go and buy another shirt for him. Because he thought the one he wore to the church office. When the fire, ah, may the fire of God come upon your life. Amen. And may you also be a fire carrier. Amen. Because you can't give what you don't have. That is a problem. That is why Christianity is like confusion to a lot of people. See, you may cover something. Pastors may not see you. Uh, but you can't cover it before God. As we were praying for that boy in the church office. Now, the guy came with a heart that was fixed. His mom needed to go for his surgery. And the surgery was going to cost money. He said, no, let me go to church. I'm going there to go and give this as a seed. Can you imagine? It was the seed that compelled deliverance on him. And that deliverance here touched his mother in Cameroon. The mother did not have to go for that operation again. She was healed instantly. Somebody shout amen. amen. I can hear you shout amen. amen. Rise up on your feet as a living oracle and shout hallelujah. I don't know the mom, but a part of God touched the son, delivered it. Now, this was a guy under satanic affliction. See, in his accommodation, the devil will just tell him, the guy is boiling hot water, the spirit will be saying in him, take that hot water, pour it upon your co-housemate. He's in the kitchen, knife in his hand, and the spirit will tell him, take the knife, go and put it on the neck of that guy. He said, we have to run out of that house because there was a spirit in him controlling. But that spirit came under the power and the judgment of the Holy Spirit. These are the spirit that will not allow congratulation. But when you are a true oracle, you can put them under check and balances. Are you listening to me? That is the whole essence of congratulation. As I was meditating on this word congratulation, I discovered that you as a child of God, you can live in the realm of congratulation for the rest of your life. Do you understand? It's not seasonal. Because all the time we win as children of God. We are winners all time. We don't lose any battle. You may see something the other way. But as a winner, I see it as God is on my side. There is something the Lord is saying to me in this issue. At the end of the day, he say congratulations. I refuse to be pitied. I refuse to mourn. I refuse to see things the way other people see it. I see it as God sees it. He rules over all the realms. Now, hear what happened. Go back to that numbers. Are you tired of standing? So after the Lord now said, okay, bring 70 elders. I want to do something now. And that is what I desire God to do for us in this minute tonight. Amen. Let there be a transference of God's glory and anointing Amen. upon everyone. If that spirit comes upon you, people will congratulate you. Amen. Hear what happened. Verse 11. Okay, so you got the, okay, please be seated, be seated, be seated. You got what I said, okay, they were thirsty, they were hungry, and they were complaining. And the Bible, verse 2, and the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched, that is the fire that came upon those guys who were complaining. And he called the name of the place Tabirah. Because the fire of the Lord burned among them. And the mixed multitude 
that was among them fell and lost him. That is usually the problem. It's not all the people in church that carries the spirit of Jehovah. Uh, amongst the people of God, we have mixed multitude. Their intentions then is never right. Uh, they, are, they are not on the same page as other people. They are there to infiltrate. You see? The Lord gave me that prayer point as we, the pastors, were praying last, last night. And I said to him, let's pray this prayer. Whatever tree, from Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, I think. Yeah. Every tree that my father has not planted shall be uprooted. You don't watch them. It is not God that planted it. And you are the representative of God. So, if you see those trees in the life of man, it's not supposed to be there. What do you do? You uproot it. Can be anything. That is why to the glory of God, the ministry Jesus has given unto us is not the ministry of theory. It's the ministry of practical. Where people can see result, visible result, verifiable. It's not what you are doing. It's not a cock and boo story you are sharing with people. Because church is all about the power of the Holy Ghost. Reflecting in your life. Giving you the ability to subdue situations, stop on situations. They are stubborn. You see, they will not want to just accept. You say, go, go, go. You think they will go like that? No. You have to exert authority over them. You have to comp compel them in the name of Jesus. Come on, get out. I force you out of this life. I force you out of this family. And they say, okay, okay, okay. Hey, you talk too much. Keep quiet. Okay, I will go. How many of you have heard that here before? Because they are living in an anger and annoyance. <laughs> in Uganda, in those days, we went on ministration. And the team the Lord gave me was uprooting evil family tree. So we're praying for that family. And the devil was saying, don't uproot, just cut the branches. Ah! He said, don't uproot, just trim the branches. I looked at my team, I said, can you imagine? Because the devil knew if you just trim the branches, the root is still intact. The fruit is inevitable. Yeah. Uh, I said, this is not. So I started addressing that. I said, get out of there. Say, do you know for how, how many years I've been in this family? Uh, where did you come from? <laughs> but anyhow, after serious prayer that they've eventually left, the same lady, I mean, I've shared the testimony several times, a document disappeared for 20 years. The following day, the document was found under the mother's bed. Where has the document been all this year? It was the same program we went to, and uh, a lady came. I, I will never forget the name of that lady. Her name is Ariet. Ariet. She came to church sound. The power of God came upon her. You know what? Dumb and deaf spirit came upon her. She couldn't speak again. She went, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. As a servant of God, as the oracle of God, as soon as that happened, <laughs> God have mercy. And you know the plan of the devil was to arrest Pastor Labode in Uganda. Because at the end of the program, Harriet came to church. Now she became deaf and dumb. Ah, they say Nigerian pastor, that is what they do. Ah. Uh, spiritual setup. Man of God, exactly. The lady could not talk. I just said to my daddy, I said, Daddy, there must be a way out. Don't ever forget, the weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal. In your family, you don't need to exert physical weapon. Engage spiritual weapon. They are not carnal, but they are always mighty. True God, to pull down satanic stronghold. We continue to pray. We continue to pray. After some time, the Lord said, begin to worship. Harriet started speaking again. Say, 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 praise the Lord. 
I'm telling you, she became deaf. She became uh, dumb. She couldn't speak. And Jesus reversed it again. And she started speaking. Clearly. Every satanic set up to set you against your testimony and congratulation. Let it fail in the name of Jesus. Uh, it must fail in the name of Jesus. I, I'm not a pastor that tells you theory all the time. No, forget about theory. I saw the ministry of Jesus Christ. All the ministry of Jesus. Practical life. Someone sick. Get out that devil. Someone is oppressed of the wicked one. You can't see the oppressor. But the oppressee. <laughs> He's carrying heavy burden on his shoulder. You can stand up. In the authority of Jesus and say, now let evil cloud move out of the life of this person. And you will see the person healed. Lay your right hand upon your head, wherever you are. And you will speak the words of an oracle. Specific word you are going to declare. The load that is not meant for this head. That the devil wants to force upon me. That will not allow testimony. Uh, that is repelling testimony. Evil load. Satanic load. I move it out in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Speak. It is not my load. It is not. But the devil wants to force it upon me anyhow. The load of oppression. The Lord of no testimony. The Lord of no congratulation. He wants to force it anyhow. Say no, 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 no to it. I reject it. I refuse it. I stand in authority. And I declare no to the oppression of the devil. No to this evil Lord on my life. On my head. On my destiny. In my family. Evil Lord of marital disaster. Evil Lord of poverty. Evil Lord of begging before eating. Ela Koshara, Bekeri Antalia, Eroma Shabila Hasate. Evil Lord of premature death. Evil Lord of sorrow. Evil Lord of anguish. Eta Shala Bekeloto Lomo Satia, Ekea Sata, Mekwa Sata, Arante Sekia Lodu. I'm addressing evil Lord specifically. It's not meant for your head. Evil Lord that will not allow testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No, 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 no to it. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus mighty name we pray. There are times we're praying, we're praying, praying for someone and the devil will be saying, no. And all the statement being made is just what? No. But what is the meaning of that? It means that as much as this person is ready for testimony, is ready for healing, she's ready for breakthrough. But there is a silent voice on the inside saying, no, 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 no. You will open your mouth and begin to say yes to the blessings of God. Yes to congratulations. Yes to breakthrough. Yes to prosperity. Yes to progress. Open door, yes. Long life, yes. Good health, yes. A lot of salary, Let your yes overwhelm their no. Yes to prosperity. Yes to cost enlargement. Yes. Yes, yes, yes to marital stability. My marriage is this year. Yes, 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 I insist. Yes to progress. Yes to elevation. Hey, yes to breakthrough. Yes to steady relationship. 
yes to beauty yes 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 to the will of god over my life yes to the will of god in my marriage yes to the will of god over my children yes to the will of god in gkc yes to the will of god in my business yes yes rise up on your feet rise up and begin to say yes yes to long life i will not die prematurely i shall fulfill my destiny yes to my star shining yes yes to my elevation yes 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 to every blessing yes to all prosperity yes to holiness yes to righteousness yes to the anointing of god in jesus mighty name we pray one of the reasons <laughs> i know i know how to catch them when they say no you say yes when they are shouting no 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 continue to say yes 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 to the will of god yes to progress yes financial breakthrough yes stability yes long life good health elevation promotion unprecedented breakthrough marital stability sound health continue to say yes 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 i will make it yes i'm running i'm ruling the line yes there is grace in the house yes no abortion of testimony yes oh i'm flourishing congratulations everywhere in jesus mighty name we pray can you see what we're talking about minister felix came this evening to testify about his wives about their new baby what is that himself birthday what is that or, or, or you think it's cheap We are not spiting on anybody. There are those who carry the pregnancy. They can't come out of the labor room. Yes, so don't ever think that it's your right or because it's because you can pray. No, it's the grace of God that we are not consumed. If you leave the devil to operate, no woman will go to the labor room and come out alive. But the Lord allows his family. To witness the delivery of another bo boy, another baby. No wonder it says in that book of uh, Psalm chapter 1, around 18, I think verse 13 or 18. Only the shout of rejoicing in the camp of the righteous. Because the hand of the Lord dwelt valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. Over your life, the hand of God is going to be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As the Lord brought Goliath with all his stature down before a little boy. That is the kind of testimony God wants to give you. Amen. Goliath was so confident in himself. He was, he was boastful. He was so boastful. He was, he, 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 he. See, he was just like this. I will kill you today. Six stones. One finger. Six, 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 six. The, when the guy walk like the dust to dust, be he's like an elephant. Elephant. But David came in the name of the Lord. 
may that name work for you. Amen. During the days of David, David, there's nothing like Holy Ghost. So. so why will you not succeed more than them? Or you are just taking Holy Ghost. I'm just speaking in tongues. Go, 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 Except your Holy Ghost is fake. And that is the problem I'm having with Pentecostals. Why do we speak too much tongues but less power? Why? We are supposed to be the people who, who trigger everything. How will you come to church and the pastor will just summonize you, summonize you, and by the time you are leaving the church, you are well summonized. Yet, your problem is in your life. Yet, the Lord cannot visit certain issue that is oppressing you, that is making life difficult for you. On that Friday morning, I mean, Sunday morning, we just came to church, and I, I said, let me preach this man. Unknown to me that the message was ministering to this lady and so many other people in the church except you don't have the spirit of God and by the end of the service I think she came to meet mommy mommy said meet let you meet pastor as I was speaking with her I said sit down just sit down make yourself comfortable if you are comfortable enough let me speak to you so she sat here as the words were coming the words coming they were coming forcefully. And the Lord, that word was rocking every department of her life. Now, some of you don't know this. Let me explain to you. The reason you see a lot of people come under deliverance again and again and again is because there are certain layers of oppression. You know, onions. You see the layers. Uh -huh. That is how. Certain people have grown in oppression. You have to remove them one by one. And that is how it is. I remember the testimony of our brother, brother Kenneth. Before that family got that testimony, you will have thought that ah, ah, is it the only lady in the church? Even in pregnancy, at times we're still praying for that woman. There is still manifestation. Because the devil vowed over that woman that she will not have a child. But what happened? Now she's pregnant now, expecting the second baby. But now ministering on her, praise the Lord. Put hands together for Jesus. This is what gives me unusual boldness that no son, no daughter of GKC will not be congratulated this year. You shall be congratulated. Now when we pray on that lady, now it's different. There's always calmness. Because oppression is already uprooted. Hallelujah. There is peace now. When we minister to her, it's always peace now. It's always, I remember, uh, you know, uh, I think about how many months now, shortly after the woman conceived the second time. In her place of work, now I'm saying this to you in order for you to learn. Somebody brought a document. And that document, she didn't read it. She just signed. And the signature day, what the document was saying was that she is the supervisor. You understand? So she's signing in the capacity of the supervisor, but she's not the supervisor. Can you see how the devil can implicate someone? So before they knew it, the school got to know that ah, you are not the supervisor and you sign in the capacity of supervisor. What happened? And they were threatening her. She knew where she picked her first miracle. So she came back to Zion. Said, Daddy, this is the situation now. I said, yeah, God wants, just wants to teach you. It's a lesson. But this situation is not going to threaten your job. The Lord's mercy will overshadow it. But next time, some of you, you like to sign very well. You just like to sign. You say, bring it. Let me, I will sign, no problem. <laughs> May God have mercy on you. Because in this country, what they are looking for is just your signature. When it becomes any case, now, I mean, I had that case before. They just I said, is this your signature? I said, yes. I said, but I can't explain. He said, no problem. No, expl no explanation now. <laughs> said, this is your signature? I said, yes. But we already said to the case. But I just wanted to know, is this, this your signature? <laughs> I said, yes. He said, no problem. Just sit down. 
It will teach you lesson. He said, I'll bring pen. Don't worry, I will, I will, guarantee, I will stand as guarantor. Bring pen. And here you are. You have not read it. You've not read the document very well. You just sign. Say, any other place to sign again? <laughs> May you not sign yourself to, uh, to, to jail. In Jesus' name. When anybody brings document for you, tell the person, come, to, come back tomorrow. Okay? Tell them, bring it. Ah, somebody brought a document the other day. They say, no, you sign it now. I say, sign it now, now. Anything that is now, now, now. <laughs> Pastor Tabby, anything that involves now, 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 now. Be very careful. They say, no, no, just give me five minutes. They say, no, you have to do it now, now. Ah, no, that now, now is, is the spirit of the devil compelling that person into error. You should learn. Let me conclude this account. So what happened in Numbers 11? Here, verse 25. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spake unto him. And he took the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the 70 elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they did what? The prophecy did not stop. What happened to in the six? And there ran two men of the camp, and the name of one was El Eldad, and the name of the other Midad. And the spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out of the tabernacle. Can you see how the spirit of God works? It's not compulsory that your mom has to be here. We can pray for her from here, and the spirit of God will rest upon her, wherever she is. Is she in Nakuru? Is she in Nairobi? Futajalo? Wherever the Spirit of God. You want to pray, you want to see the proof tonight? You will see. If there is anybody here, you have an emergency case. We will pray from here. By midnight, you will verify the testimony. I say by midnight you will verify the testimony. In the name of Jesus. You remember the testimony of that woman. So everything we do in our ministry, we do it by the spirit of God. You remember the testimony of that lady? They had, uh, had, uh, was uh, David Ajayi. The, 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 the sister's younger brother. The guy, she came to testify that he's now married with a child. The devil was oppressing the young man some time ago. And it became a concern to that family. What was it? A grown-up man peeing on the bed. What an embarrassment. Listen, no hospital can handle that case. A grown-up person, you just woke up in the, in the morning and your bed is wet. How do you explain it? So the family knew it was an oppression. You know what the woman did? She came to the church office. She was thinking, I would tell her, I, I get a liquid fire. The, the Holy Spirit gives you instruction as per occasion. I said, go on, I've, let me have his picture. She scrolled her phone and got a picture. I said, this is the picture. From the church office there. Whereas the mom has gone to mountains in Nigeria to go and pray concerning that case. So don't let anybody harass you by telling you we are coming from this mountain, we are coming from that mountain. We, we, are, we are real mountain carriers. We, we carry the mountain everywhere we go. Lay hands on that picture. And the boy in Nigeria started vomiting. As he was eating bread and beans. At the same time. The power of deliverance touched him. He was vomiting. He didn't know what was happening in Dubai. Then he fell asleep. He woke up never to repeat that again. By the mighty power of God. 
if there is anybody in this meeting tonight, any concern in your family that needs emergency visitation of God, just come to the front now before we take the communion. This is why you are in church. Any um, see, don't come for issue of job. There is an emergency case that needs divine intervention. Someone is sick. Someone is, uh, I don't know, that needs divine intervention. Then you will come back with testimony. You will know that the God we are talking about is real. Can you imagine the people of God? If God has not mentioned this case, look at it. How can you be in UAE and you have oppression, you have serious situation in your home? Mentally, you're not going to be balanced. Now, just spread out. I wouldn't go over, you know, asking, so what is it? It's going to take our time. I will just allow you to tell God that case. And after it, I'm going to stand in prayer with you. The God we serve is real. He's not the God of the mountains alone. He's also the God of the valley. So report that issue to God and say, Father, I need testimony in this, concerning this case. What is it? I may not know it, but your heavenly Father knows it. And I'm telling you, you're going to come back with testimony. report that matter and let it mix with faith in you as you're saying it don't say it as a victim and you are saying it emotionally and you are crying no report it to your father say daddy i need this to be visited by your mercy thank you father in jesus mighty name now all of us from different countries but the spirit of god that we have operates in all the nations of the world is the same God. He's reached to us all of them that call his name. Father, I speak into these lives. Whatsoever it is, the situation that is overwhelming them from home, is it their concerning their brothers, concerning their sisters, concerning their uncle, parents, whatever the situation may be, Father, I stand as your mouthpiece and I declare, let there be a solution in the name of Jesus. Amen. If it is sickness, Lord, I come against the spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If it is satanic power that is operating through the spirit of, through monitoring spirit. I come against those devils with the blindness of God now in Jesus' name. 